Welcome again friends, welcome to another session of Shomu's Biology Presents Biology Math Problems and here in this particular video we will be solving another problem from plant biology and botany most of the time and that is about the water potential, right? So, water potential, we know water potential is very very important for, up, for the uptake of water by the plant. So, water potential is having a formula, remember the formula is you know uh, simply it is termed as, so let me just do that, it is termed as psi total and the value of psi total is depicted equals to psi of uh, solute plus, plus the psi of pressure that is the pressure potential plus psi of S that is the solute potential. Now, the solute potential can also be calculated because we have a formula for calculating solute potential and that is minus I CRT and you know CRT, what are CRT we will be talking about here later. So, here it is given the value for psi in root tissue was found to be minus 3.3 bars, you know bar is a unit for pressure. If you place the root tissue, you know 0.1 molar solution of sucrose at 20 degrees Celsius in an open beaker, what is the psi of the solution? So, what they are asking is the psi of the solution that is the potential of the solution or solution potential is denoted as remember psi s. So, psi s is what they want us to know and in which direction would the net flow of water be? So, the situation we just put the root tissue in the solution of sucrose. So, from where to which direction the water will be moving that is what the question is all about guys. So, here what we know to calculate the potential right to calculate the psi s. So, let us do this. How do we calculate the psi s in this case? So, psi s easily be calculated you know once we know that total potential will be equals to psi p plus psi s and we can calculate psi s indi individually independently. So, once you get the, all these temperature values, molar ratios and all these things you must know that is the trip, uh, quick trick to follow that once you get all those values you know values like uh, a molar solution or degree Celsius you know it, it means T and this is the molar ratio and molar ratio stands for here. <coughs> Uh, so, that is the C, you know concentration of the solution. So, C, uh, this is the temperature T in Kelvin. Remember capital T means temperature in Kelvin. So, 20 degree Celsius we need to convert them in Kelvin. And this is the pressure that was provided and that is you know R that, that, that we need to know. So, once you know all these things, uh, I mean R, R is a ratio, sorry. I forget. R is you know it's a constant and we know the value for R if they don't provide you you, mu you must remember the value for R and that's a very basic of chemistry. So, let's do it now. So, once we know that psi s equals to minus i c r t. So, let's put the values minus i. So, in this case so let's make a bracket over there somewhere. So, let's put it i the value for i remember here is i is 1 because in this case it is a constant here over so it's 1 c is the concentration 0 0.1 molar so 0 0.1 mole per liter 0 0.1 mole per liter i just write it down r capital r is a constant you know the value for capital r as a constant we all know so let us put the value here and the value is 0 0.0831 liter bars by mole kelvin. So, it is a huge huge unit. So, do not need to worry about that. Multiplied by the T and T in this case remember T is in kelvin. So, you know 20 degree Celsius plus 273 we just add the value 273 we get 293 kelvin. So, the temp temperature is 293 kelvin. You know every unit will be same in the in a you know SI units. So, we get all the SI units over here and once we now start to calculate the value and the value as simple multi I mean simple uh, multiplication there and we get the value of minus 2.43 bars. So, you get this value. Once we get the value that is minus 2.43 bars, right. Now, what we need to calculate is the value for psi in the root tissue that was given minus point I mean 3.3 that was given there, right. And now, what, what else we need to calculate? We need to, we just get the value of, this is the solute potential that is in what psi of the solution, uh, if the water will flow, the solution psi will be minus 2.43 bars and that is the correct answer guys. 
So that's it.